combine more shapes. We're going to combine more two-dimensional shapes. This is lesson 12.4. Now in lesson 12.3, we learned we can combine two-dimensional shapes to make new shapes that we know. We can make a trapezoid with three triangles. We just put three triangles together. See? We made a trapezoid. We can put two-dimensional shapes together to make other new shapes. A triangle and a square can be put together to make a house. A half circle and a triangle can be combined to make an ice cream cone. Here we've got our triangle down here and this is half of a circle. It's a semicircle. We can combine two rectangles to make new shapes. We can put them side by side like this. We can put one down, going this way. We can make a T by putting them like this, couldn't we? And we could put them end to end, like this, and make a new shape. See? And we can combine a rectangle and a square to make a new shape. We could take... Let's put one of the rectangles over here. We could take this rectangle and a square and put them together like this and make an L. We could put it in the middle too, couldn't we? We could make a short fat T, couldn't we? We could go like that. We could put it at the end to make a longer rectangle. When a circle is cut into two equal parts, we have two semicircles. So that's a semicircle and that's a semicircle. It's just this circle cut right down the middle. See, it's cut in half. So it's a half circle, it's a semicircle. We put them together, we make the circle, see? Semicircle. We can cut a circle into four equal parts and make leaves for a flower. We can make these leaves for the flower by cutting a circle into four equal parts. We can put this one here. We can put this one here. We can put this one here. And we can put this one here and we can see that they made the shapes of leaves for a flower, didn't they? And that's from a circle. We took a circle and cut it into four equal parts and we were able to make that new shape, the leaves, see? See how we did that? Okay. My magnets are sticking. There we go. We can cut a circle into three equal parts and make a new shape. These parts of the circle, we have one, two, three, we can make that shape. All we have to do is put one like this, and then this is, see the circle would have been like this, right? But we're gonna put this end on here, and then we're gonna take the last one and go like this, see? could almost be like bird wings, couldn't it? Can you imagine bird wings and that's the body? We just need to draw a head maybe, okay? Could be a hang glider or even a butterfly. We can combine two triangles to make a square. We take this triangle and this triangle and put them together. We can make a square, so it'd be like that, see? And we can draw lines to show which shapes can be combined to make this shape. We could use a rectangle and a square. We could also make this shape with three squares. We could make it with a rectangle and two triangles. We could make it with a square and four triangles. We could also make it with two squares and two triangles. And we could even use six triangles 
and we could make that shape. Okay, so now we're going to combine shapes to make these new shapes, okay? We're going to put some shapes together. How can we make this shape? What if we took a rectangle and we took a piece of a circle that was cut into four equal parts? What if we took one of these equal parts and put it up here like this? Did we make the same shape? Yeah, we did, didn't we? What about this one? We could take some squares and stack them like this and put a triangle on top on its side like that. What else could we use instead of two squares? Instead of two squares, we could have used the rectangle, couldn't we? We could have gone like that. And that would have made that shape. Look at this shape. Do you know how we can make this shape? We could use a rectangle for the bottom. Okay. And we can use one of the semicircles. Look at that. That makes the shape, doesn't it? What about this shape? We could use a semicircle and one of the pieces of a circle cut into four equal parts. And we can go like that, see? We could also use three of these. We could take three of these pieces because see how two of them would make the semicircle, see that? So instead of a semicircle, we could use three of the four equal parts. See that? And then look at this shape. To make this shape, we could take a triangle and we could put it on top of a trapezoid. Look at that. Kind of looks like a sailboat, doesn't it? So you can get shapes like these online, like my shapes right here, and you can get them in plastic or wood, or you can even get them magnetic like mine are, but it's more fun to make your own shapes out of construction paper or poster board. All you have to do is trace something round and then cut it out, and then you can cut the pieces up you can trace something square and cut it out, and you can have your own shapes and see what different new shapes you can make. Our next video is Problem Solving Make New Two-Dimensional Shapes, Lesson 12.5. We're coming up in a few more lessons. We're going to be learning about fractions. So this is getting you ready to learn about fractions. So I hope I'll see you next time. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.